all right guys what's up this is my top 10 winter list and i am very excited about this list because it's an amazing list i've been also doing something a little bit different the past couple years if you guys haven't noticed but i try to talk about a lot of fragrances that have been spoken about a lot in this channel and stuff that's a little bit newer too so you guys can get to explore newer fragrances without further ado let's get to the list at the number 10th spot we have tango so tango i believe i just put got this last year so i just added this to my collection but man 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 tango is amazing you're talking about a spice masterpiece it is definitely one of those you have cumin and you have cardamom you have amber you have a lot of things going on in this fragrance and of course i'm going to do a full review but this is a very warm fragrance it's very spicy it's a little bit woody this is definitely not a blind buy fragrance this is not going to be something for everybody so i do suggest that if you get a sample of this you try it out first before you buy it but absolutely love this fragrance number nine you have another fragrance that i believe i got i'm not sure if i got this last year or this year. i think i got it last year but this is scent 1x i believe i don't know if i'm saying this right i'm definitely going to have it right in the caption but this is by kieran nyc this fragrance is amazing i read the notes on it and i blind bought it because it just sounded crazy so you have honey on there the apple and you have cognac that really stood out to me and man you can definitely smell the apple you can definitely smell the cognac and you do get this sappy sweetness from the honey you get some woods in there i think there's tobacco in this fragrance i don't remember but man this fragrance is amazing and especially for the price it lasts all day it's pretty good on projection you you can't get any better than this if you like any of those notes this is definitely worth checking out number eight this is a fragrance that came out last year and this might be my favorite from the line right now and this is gentleman javenshi this is another flanker and this is the Privé. this is incredible you have chestnut in there rum and you have iris this fragrance is just so well done this is definitely something that i would dress up a little bit it's definitely a little bit more gentleman it's very resinous it's, it's going to get you a bunch of compliments this is something that's easy to wear every day if you don't know what to wear and you can wear this on a lot of occasions number seven this is a fragrance that i actually didn't even know came out and when i found out it came out was actually a few weeks ago so i went and got a sample of it and i didn't expect this but this is pasha noir by cartier and oh my goodness it is only listed that it has two notes so it's not really a complicated fragrance it but it has a lot of depth in it surprisingly so the two notes that are listed i believe was burnt woods and caramel but to me it almost smells like burnt caramel and woods and it's, it just has this like smoldering smell to it it's very well done it's leaning on the gourmand side but then it's not i would say it's leaning unisex but i feel like it's more masculine but it's just an amazing fragrance i don't even know how to describe it like have you guys ever smelled like burnt sugar like it almost smells like that but caramel with wood with woods and it has like i don't even know how to explain it it has a smoky smell to it for sure but man i'm gonna do a full review on this make sure you guys check it out but this is a very interesting fragrance i don't think it's going to be something for everybody but for people that like the all factory experience i think this will take you on a journey number six you have oud for glory now this is the dupe for of course oud for greatness and i got this i believe also last year this is a very 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 close dupe to the point that i tried both fragrances like i sprayed both of them on my wrist and i forgot which one is which now some people might say oh it's not 100 percent, it's not 90 percent, whatever to me it smells very close to the real thing and it's like 20 bucks versus the other one which is like 300 or the high 200s so this is a great dupe it smells just like the og but you have saffron on here you have oud and you have lavender this is in my opinion definitely a top 10 best ouds ever made uh and i'm talking about the og and this one of course 
this is just a very wearable fragrance it's very seductive it's not too potent it's something that lasts all day not the best projector but this is definitely something that's going to get you noticed so if you want a fragrance that's going to get you noticed it's very sexy and very easy to wear this is the one for you number five this is a fragrance that i also got last year now i went and smelled it one time i didn't even put it on my skin came back perfumology and bought it like it this fragrance blew me away oh my bad i forgot to mention the name of the fragrance it's tabak rose by bdk and i see where all the hype came from of course you have rose in there you have plum and you have dark chocolate in it so oh my goodness talk about this this is definitely borderline unisex but this is an amazing fragrance it's so sexy so seductive lasts all day the dark chocolate paired with the rose clear with the sweet juicy plum man I, I can't wait to do a full review on this this fragrance is amazing and that is exactly why i made the top five because it's definitely worth it number four we have tom ford noir extreme parfum this is one of my favorite favorite fragrances when the og came out i wanted it for so long when i heard the parfum is coming out i was like let me smell the parfum first definitely better it's denser it's richer it's they just took the og dna that was so good and they tweaked it and made it better and made it just amazing i'm going to do a full review on this but man talk about a sexy fragrance talk about something that lasts all day projects gets you compliments this is definitely a head turner one of the best time four fragrances out there and i'm not just talking about on the designer side luxury side whatever this is definitely one of the best time fours ever made number three you have a fragrance that's been very very hyped the past year and of course on tiktok uh and just everywhere else but this is a dupe of angel share and this is camera now i've heard a lot of people say well this doesn't smell 100 percent like angel share and i did wear both fragrances side by side there are things that angel share has that camera doesn't but this is very very close and for the price point talking about anywhere from $30 to like 75 is the highest I've seen it versus angel share that's like 240 or 250 right now just for the 50 ml not even for the 100 definitely worth the buy and this is something that personally even though I own this I'm still going to buy angel share because I love the fragrance so much and there's just something a little bit different about it but this is something that you definitely don't have to buy angel share if you don't want to save the money pay 30 to 75 bucks at most and pretty much have the same thing this bottle is 100 ml also so you you just can't lose with this but with this you have notes of dates cinnamon myrrh praline this is sweet it's seductive it does smell like it has some kind of boozy note in it even though it doesn't but it's very well done it's going to last all day it's going to get you compliments so absolutely love this fragrance number two we have a fragrance that i've been wanting for so long and i finally got it in my list and it is black phantom oh my goodness i tried black phantom out i don't know maybe five six years ago and i didn't even remember what it smelled like but when i had the opportunity to grab it i was like I, I must do it because it was just love at first sniff it is coffee rum dark chocolate this is one of the best fragrances ever made i'm always going to have this in my collection talk about seductive talk about lasting all day talking about compliments talking about a masterpiece the journey it takes you on when, when it just evolves is ridiculous definitely something that i would dress up a little bit more i'm definitely going to do a full review on this but i i'm surprised this isn't number one but when you see number one you kind of know why but it's not saying that this isn't number one worthy because it definitely is and number one we have a fragrance that came out last year and this is probably no 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 this is definitely the best fragrance that came out from this line last year and arguably it might even be top two like this i think it's their best fragrance i'm gonna say it we're talking about royal tobacco by amwash with notes of cardamom basil and of course tobacco of course you get some smokiness in this you have some bright 
fruity notes in there. You have some woods in there. It's very smooth. It's very seductive. This is everything that you could ever want in a fragrance. Oh my gosh, like I could go on and on. Of course, I'm doing a full review on this. The price point is crazy and I don't like the fact that they don't do 50 ml bottles, but it's worth every single penny. If you just wanna walk in and turn everybody's heads and take people's wives, this is the fragrance that you would buy. Like I, I could go on and on about this fragrance. It is so good. It is, again, worth every penny. That is my top 10 list for the winter. I wanna know what you guys think about these fragrances. Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. If you enjoy this type of content or like anything fashion related, fragrance related or grooming related, please make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. See you soon.